In this lesson, we're going to go over job order costing and process costing as they relate to managerial accounting. So uh, we really have two types of costing, and when we mean costing, we mean costing in a manufacturing process. So, you know, we're going to incur all of these expenses associated with a product. And the question is, is how do we accumulate those costs within the process? Now, this is different from retail in which under retail methods, uh, we buy the products from a vendor. So we know the price that we paid for those items. In a manufacturing process, that's not that easy to figure out, especially when we're dealing with raw materials, then converting that raw materials into finished goods. So we have two ways of allocating our costs. The first one is job order costing. Now, when do we use job order costing? If we look here, job order costing is done when we have custom orders. Um, so we'll give you an example as we go through, but custom orders. So a great example of job order costing would be like a repair shop. So for instance, I have this camera right here, and let's say I run a camera repair shop. When someone comes to me, they have a problem with their camera, I'm going to be doing different things to this camera than let's say another customer who comes in and also has camera problems. Therefore, the cost for me to let's say repair this camera versus another camera is going to be different. So I need to allocate costs differently based on the order. And so we typically use job order costing when we have custom orders things that um, need a little bit of a customization within its repairs or services or even products. Um, typically, job order costing is used when we have heterogeneous products and services, so very different products and services. They're not that similar. They may be similar in scope, but they're not necessarily similar. Um, typically, we have low product volume, so obviously if I'm repairing, repairing cameras, it's low volume. I mean, my time, my effort is going to take a lot of that, and I'm only going to be able to get, let's say, one fix within a couple of hours rather than hundreds fix at the same time. Uh, high product flexibility and low to medium standardization. So when we talk about high product flexibility, um, we're talking about you know, putting a lot of effort into that product versus letting it kind of do its own thing. And when we talk about low to medium standardization, um, there is no standardization. What I do with this camera and what I need to do with this camera from a repair standpoint is different from another camera. So uh, this contrasts another uh, job, sorry, another costing method and that is process costing. So process costing is usually done when we have repetitive procedures. So we're making the same thing in the same way, same manner. We can almost think of this as machines. Machines are building it or we uh, do the same thing all the time. So an example of that would be uh, like these Legos right here. Now, don't worry about the color necessarily, but all of these Legos are the same length. Okay, so they're processed the same way. I can put all of these in a mold, and then at the same time, I now have four of these Legos, same length and everything. So typically, repetitive procedures, it's a repetitive procedures to make in them. We have a mold, we put plastic in the mold, we do whatever we need to do with them, and then we're done. To make another one, we have the mold again, we put plastic in there, and then we keep on doing that process the same way. So it's not like a repair shop where if I'm repairing this camera, this camera will repair it one way, but when the next camera comes in, I might have a whole totally different uh, problem with that camera that I need to repair. Homogeneous products and services, so think the same. We talked about our Legos here. These are the same, other than the color, they're the same. They're the same length, they're made out of the same material. Um, we can almost say that they're colored in the same way. This one's colored white, unless the plastic comes in white. This is colored blue, yellow, and then green. So all the same process, the same product, or the same service that we're providing. 
high production volume. Notice when we're making these Legos, we're probably making hundreds if not thousands at a time. Whereas if I'm fixing this camera, I'm fixing one at a time. And even in a manufacturing process, we may only need one person to oversee a machine that's let's say forming these Legos and we can make thousands and thousands and thousands at a time. Low product flexibility, so there isn't much flexibility in uh, making the product. And then high standardization, so there's a standard set way. We know that if we're gonna put this Lego through the process, it's gonna be this length, it's gonna be out of so many ounces of plastic, it's the same standardization. So um, that's the two costing methods that we can incur. Uh, this is how we accumulate the cost in a manufacturing process. Typically, if it's very different items or if it's very specialized in nature and low volume, we're gonna use something called job costing method. And then if it's high volume, homogeneous, so the same type of things over and over again, kind of this repetitive process, we use process costing.